हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज ऑन मैक्सिमम पावर पॉइंट ट्रैकिंग यूजिंग बूस्ट कन्वर्टर सो इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी सॉ हाउ टू टेक आउट आउटपुट टर्मिनल फ्रॉम द सोलर पीवी मॉडल एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ वेरी क्विक थोरिटिकल रिव्यू ऑफ एम यूजिंग बूस्ट कन्वर्टर एज वेल एज ऑफ पी एंड ओलगोरिदम सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द मैटलैब लेट अस टेक अ क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ अर्टब एंड ऑब्जर्व एलगोरिदम प्लीज नोट दैट आई विल नॉट गो इन वेरी डिटेल ऑफ दिस एलगोरिदम बिकॉज देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ लिटरेचर्स विच आर ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल ऑन इंटरनेट यू कैन इजली रिफर दैम सो लेट अस टेक अ रिव्यू ऑफ पी एंड ओ मैथड एंड माई फोकस विल बी ऑन एम पी पी टी यूजिंग बूस कन्वर्टर so generally in this system uh, we have a solar panel uh, in the last part i have shown you how to take out the output terminal from solar panel and this output terminal will go to the bus converter and at the output of bus converter generally we have a battery let's say the voltage of battery is v bat so this bus converter has a inductor a switch and a diode so for bus converter working in continuous conduction mode uh, we can write output voltage of the bus converter which is v bat is equal to input voltage of the bus converter which is v not divided by 1 minus d where d is duty cycle Off switch S. It can be also written as on period of switches divided by the time period. Generally, the battery voltage V bat is constant. Let us say K. So this equation can be written as V not K into one minus D. So if you want to increase so if you want to increase the input voltage uh, that is the output voltage of solar panel you have to decrease the duty cycle and if you want to decrease the input voltage of the bus converter you have to increase the duty cycle so by controlling the duty cycle we can give positive or negative perturbation in the solar panel voltage so next uh, we will be looking at how to give perturbation in duty cycle d so uh, to know how to give perturbation in duty cycle d uh, we should know uh, how do we generate uh, switching signal in the bus converter so in bus converter uh, we have a high frequency triangular wave and a control voltage vc so whenever the control voltage is greater than triangular wave switch is in on state and when control voltage is lower than triangular wave switch is in off state and this cycle repeats for each switching period so the on time period is p on let's say and switching period is on plus off time so we know duty cycle is t on by t so if you want to increase duty cycle you have to increase t on and if you want to decrease duty cycle you have to decrease t on and uh, uh, t on you can see that t on is controlled by vc voltage so the relation between d and vc is if you want to increase d basically uh, you have to increase vc and if you want to decrease d you have to increase you have to decrease the vc so this is relation between d and vc now let us take a look on perturb and observe algorithm uh, it is a very famous algorithm uh, for maximum power point tracking uh, we will take a quick look of this so the pv curve of solar panel looks something like this 
so p is the output power of solar panel and v is the output voltage of solar panel basically the pv curve divides into two region so region 1 and region 2 so region 1 has positive slope and region 2 has negative slope and uh, here somewhere maximum power occurs where slope is approximately equal to 0 so in p and uh, o algorithm basically uh, we try to uh, go toward this point where the maximum power occurs uh, so i will try to summarize p and o algorithm in a table uh, let's say first column of the table is uh, perturbation in panel voltage perturbation in panel voltage and next is effect of uh, perturbation on output power uh, so from uh, effect on output power we will uh, try to predict the next step so third table is conclusion for next perturbation in panel voltage and uh, fourth will be uh perturbation in d and fifth will be perturbation in control voltage so let us uh, first focus on first region uh, suppose you are operating here v initial and you have given uh, perturbations is that input voltage has got increased that is v finally so perturbation let's say dv will be what v final minus v initial so uh, let's say if perturbation in panel voltage is positive uh, that is we are moving towards the maximum operating point so we can easily see the output power will increase so the effect on output power is positive means it will increase final output power will, uh, will be greater than initial output power and the conclusion for next step next perturbation in panel voltage will be we have to uh, move toward the, uh, this direction that is uh, we have to increase the panel voltage and uh, to increase panel voltage we just saw that we have to decrease the duty cycle and to decrease duty cycle you have to decrease control voltage similarly uh, if we give negative perturbation in panel voltage if we move downwards let's say panel perturbation is negative so the output power will be effect on output power will be negative that will it means that output power will decrease uh, so the uh, conclusion for next perturbation is uh, basically our aim is to move towards the maximum power uh, so uh, we have to increase the panel voltage it means that uh, we have to decrease duty cycle and basically how will you achieve uh, to decrease duty cycle is through the control voltage now let us focus on region 2 let's say you are operating somewhere here and if you have given negative perturbation in panel voltage that is final voltage will be uh, is lower than initial voltage so if you give negative it means that you are moving towards maximum power so the effect on output power is positive so the conclusion will be you have to continuously decrease the panel voltage it means that your duty cycle have to be increased and control voltage has also to be increased similarly if you move away from the maximum power in second region that is perturbation in panel voltage positive so the output power will decrease and we have to in decrease the panel voltage basically we have to move towards the maximum power it means that 
then duty cycle should increase and VC should also be increased. Uh, here I have summarized the P and O algorithm in uh, table. So we can conclude that uh, let's say perturbation in panel voltage is DP. FF turn output power is DP. So DP into DV, let's call it first, second, third, fourth. So for first row, DP, DV and DP are both positive and it leads to decrease in uh, the duty cycle that is decrease in control voltage so if dp and dv is positive vc should decrease uh, if you notice second also the product of dp into dv is positive and if dp into dv is negative uh, in second and fourth uh, sorry in third and fourth the control voltage should increase so this is the basic summary of p and o algorithm basically you have to uh, check the perturbation in power and perturbation in dv if it is positive you have to decrease the control voltage if it is negative you have to increase the control voltage so the first step is that uh, we have to give perturbation in the input voltage of the boost converter how will you do that you will uh, do it by vc and uh, next thing is that uh, you have to see the effect of that perturbation on uh, panel power uh, so if dp and dv uh, multiplication are positive we have to decrease the control voltage and if dp and dv the multiplication is negative we have to increase the control voltage so in this part uh, we have taken a very quick review of uh, uh, mbpt using boost converter and p and o algorithm uh, in the next part, uh, uh, we'll be looking at how to implement this P and O algorithm in MATLAB simulator.